After you've been using the internet for a while and accessing various websites, you'll wish you'll be able to keep a record of the websites you've visited and found of particular interest for whatever reason. There's a way to do this with virtually any browser, and this is called Bookmarks. Now I'll show you how you use Bookmarks in a, with Safari, and with Safari this has special features which could be of particular interest and value to you. Here's the bookmark bar along here, and various sites set up, BBC News, Apple as shown on this screen, Yahoo, Google Maps, YouTube, Wikipedia, and so on. This particular one, News, includes various um, different sites, and Popular also includes various different sites, including Facebook and Disney and so on. Now, to access the listing of these um, bookmarks and to see the actual what's on the bookmark bar here, click on this little icon here which looks a bit like a book and we'll get a listing here. Now, on this bookmark section you'll see there's these various sites and the news sites and the popular sites. Bookmark menu, that's showing nothing at the moment. History is just showing all the sites which I've visited recently. This is for my emails here, BT Yahoo Mail. And RSS fields, fields uh, feeds, we can deal with that at another time. Here we've actually got bookmark groupings or folders as they're called for Macintosh. There's just two uh, screens here at the moment, two, two websites, various, five websites, audio visual, another five, and e-commerce. There's just two listed here. An alternative way of accessing the bookmarks is actually through this bookmark menu at the top of the Safari screen. So we'll click on here and it'll say hide all bookmarks or show all bookmarks. Now if you're on a screen, uh, for instance Google Maps, let's change this to Amazon. So we'll go back here. And say we, f we like this particular site because it's of big interest to and value to us and we want to bookmark it. Well the easiest way is just to go up to here and add bookmark. And here is the name of the site, Amazon.co.uk, low prices in electronics and so on. And we can choose which folder to put under. We've only got a limited number of folders at the moment set up. E-commerce, Macintosh computers, various. Well, for the time being, it's probably more suitable to put it in the various folders so you can find that reasonably easily in the, mo in the future. And we'll shorten this name, Amazon. Just take out this and substitute just for convenience, just for easy reference in the future. And we'll click on this and that's added. Now we can go here and look at the various folder and you'll see that Amazon has now been added here. Let's go back to Amazon by just clicking here, double clicking, and that brings up the Amazon site on this particular tab. Now we put it in the various folder before but it would be probably more suitable to put it in a special folder. Perhaps we could call this special folder shopping. I'll show you how to do this now. Go back up to the bookmarks menu and we'll add a bookmark folder. And you'll see down here the space for a new folder with untitled folder there. We'll replace that with and now we've made a new folder called shopping. At the moment this is empty but we'll go back to Amazon just by clicking here to go back here. Now this time we'll add it to the shopping folder. So add bookmark. Now it was in various but now we'll open up the shopping folder instead and we'll just make that Amazon because you know that's a shopping site now and we'll add that to shopping. Now we can just check that it's there by clicking on here 
and in the shopping we've got Amazon. Now as we already put it in various, let's take it out of various, just click on here, press delete, and that site's been taken out of uh, the various listing. And now we'll go into shopping and return to Amazon here. And then that's another website which you've added to your bookmarks in the specific folder for shopping. So that gives you an idea of how you can take advantage of the bookmarking feature in Safari. And I hope that will be of value to you.